Hey friends, this is Taylor with VanQuest, and today we're gonna take a look at my EDC bag. Everyone here is a complete nerd when it comes to EDC gear, so we wanted to highlight a couple of our personal setups. We'll talk about the bag that I carry every day, as well as the organizers that I keep inside that help me manage all of my gear. So, first off, my daily pack is the Javelin 18. I have it in wolf gray, and I also keep it in a backpack configuration. Right now, I only have a couple things on the outside. You can see the patches I have there. You gotta keep your patch game up. And then I also have a Hydra on the side in blue. I don't often carry a bottle every day, but I like the ability to carry one when I need to. Let's talk about this top pocket here. This is kind of like the smaller admin pocket, and I only keep a few different items inside of here. A pen, this is the Zebra 701. I keep my AirPods inside of here. This is an older Nikkor P12 flashlight, and then the Protec SRB mini fixed blade. Um, that's it. But the admin organization in here is awesome. You have a zipper tough mesh pocket, you got your elastic webbing, and then your slip pocket right there. These things just kind of get tossed inside. Um, they're durable, I'm not too worried about them. And uh, it's a perfect little pocket for those guys. Now in the larger admin section, I only keep a couple items in here. Uh, first up, we have a pair or a set of titanium chopsticks. Who doesn't like titanium, right? Come on, it's fun. Um, so that's the first thing that I keep in there. And then next to it is my Lion Energy. The Prowler is the name of this. It's a wireless charger, um, so I can just set my phone right on top. There are some ports down here so you can still plug stuff in. It's also a little flashlight. It's a sweet little, uh, little wireless charger. And that all lives just in this front admin slip pocket. Um, there's not a ton that I keep in the individual pockets on the outside because as you'll see when we get to the main compartment, um, I have kind of a lot of pouches that manage some of the smaller gear that I keep with me. So let's get into the main compartment next. All right, so the main compartment, I tend to favor uh, this side of the bag as I'm wearing it, it's the left side. Um, that's why I have the Hydra on the opposite side. What we have here are all of the organizers that I, I carry. So I'll probably get through a more detailed shot of all of these, but I'm gonna go over real quick each pouch individually and how they all kind of fit uh, in the bag and what they organize themselves because they're sort of divided into um, their own kind of modules. Each one is meant for a kind of a specific purpose. So the first item that we'll highlight is my trauma kit. This is the Sticky Cube uh, Small, and I also keep it in a kind of a compressed form factor here. Uh, but this has some rolled gauze, it has some compression bandages, um, smaller chest seals. This is for kind of more serious injuries. I hope to never use this, but I always have it. And I use the hook backing to stick it in the loop lining of the Javelin. <clears throat> To complement the trauma kit, I also have a simple boo-boo kit. This is a PPM Slim in bright red, so uh, it's more identifiable as a first aid kit. Uh, just got some sunscreen, some antibacterial spray, and then again, basic band-aids, gloves, gauze, things like that. This gets used a little bit more often, um, but it's a, a much simpler kit. So for the daily items, um, for the simple cuts and scrapes and things like that, that's where this comes into play. And then anything a little bit more serious, uh, we're gonna have the trauma kit to complement all that. So the next organizer I have, it's kind of a unique one. This is one that we made for Right in the Rain. So this is not a formal VanQuest product, but it is something that we uh, collaborated on with them. And this is my consumables pouch. So things like some flavored toothpicks, I have, actual mints in an Altoid container, um, cough drops, hot sauce, some more medication. I had this stuff kind of scattered throughout my bag and it was becoming kind of annoying trying to figure out where did I put my cough drops? Where's my chapstick? So now anything that I'm gonna have to replenish after I use it all lives in this kit. And it was, was a pretty cool collaboration we did with them. So the next pouch is what I call 
my general EDC pouch. This is the PPM huge. This is the largest PPM that we make. Um, and this is just kind of, kind of general everyday stuff. Uh, it's its own kind of centralized kit. So I have a little notepad in here. Um, and then this has kind of random assortment of stuff. So flashlight pen, got some eye drops, uh, lighter, you know, cable, multi-tool, things like that. Um, this is gonna be able to handle a lot of different things. If I could only grab one little pouch out of my bag, this would probably would be the one. By no means it is, is it a you know, super comprehensive survival kit, um, but this will get the job done in most cases. Um, and I, as you can kind of tell, sort of favor the wolf gray options personally. All right, so my personal favorite kit in my Javelin is this, this is the FTIM five by seven, and this serves as my EDC toolkit. Um, it's a great form factor as far as keeping uh, tools organized. There's a good amount of uh, depth in this. So as you can see, I have things, and you've probably seen EDC toolkits. I got some Nipex pliers, some precision screwdrivers, shears, little utility blade, a little pry bar. This is a small ratchet set. Um, I have some additional sockets and a random uh, zippered pouch here. Uh, but this handles most little repairs, things like that, that I might come across throughout the day. Um, I'd rather have this kit than nothing. I'm not remodeling a kitchen with this either, but it definitely gives me a lot of capability and a really small form factor. I fit a good amount in here and there's still plenty of room to expand on this as I find new gear and go down that EDC tool rabbit hole. So, all right, so this is kind of how I keep it set up. Uh, when everything is actually in the bag. So on the bottom, I have that uh, FTIM 5x7 as well as the PPM Huge. Uh, that was my EDC toolkit and my general EDC pouch. Um, they're heavier, so I keep them on the bottom mostly just uh, so I'm not crushing my first aid kit or anything like that. Um, I keep the consumables and the first aid pouch, uh, the basic trauma kit, or the basic kit right here. And then the trauma kit in the sticky cube sticks to the loop lining on the main compartment. Um, and then I also do keep a notebook in here, again, uh, right in the rain, and then just this little carabiner and a hank of cord. Um, this pocket is actually symmetrical. So there's another one uh, on the other side here where I keep my Hydra um, on this side of the bag. Uh, I tend to favor this side as far as opening and closing it, so that's why I keep this stuff on this side if I ever need to get access to it. It's right there. All right. So I'm always changing and evolving my EDC gear. So for me, one of the biggest advantages of using multiple pouches like this is I can move them between packs, something I do every couple of months. Um, I can also grab the first aid kit or the tool kit without having to find you know, each piece of gear inside of my bag. But whether you move gear around often or you haven't changed it in a decade, you know, the Javelin's an awesome pack that gives you a ton of organization. And I hope this kind of inspired you to take your gear management to the next level. We've been building the toughest bags and packs for everyday carry since 2011 to help you stay organized and prepared. So check out banquest.com for more details. We really appreciate you guys watching. So if you found the video helpful, consider liking and subscribing. And as always, comment down below if you have any questions. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you.